So they start seated in a patrol car. Um, they're given a suspect description, and once they open the door and their feet hit the ground, that's when their time starts. They run quite a distance, jump up some obstacles. They go over a six foot wall, then they go over a four foot wall. They zigzag through some cones. They go under a couple obstacles and they circle around and identify their suspect. We have three different suspects. They have to identify the one they were given in the beginning. They do three strikes to a dummy. And then they run down some stairs, up some stairs. And then when they come back, they grab the 150 pound dummy. They pick it up and they have to drag it. 20 feet in an L shape. And once that dummy hits the ground, their time stops. Get them across, get them all the way. Just get a little, there you go, nice. We had some consultants come in and they spoke with officers, detectives, um, asked us kind of what we do in our daily activities. It's supposed to be made to kind of simulate what an officer might have to do in any given day. Three minutes, 14 seconds. So we've had someone do it in under a minute? Yes, we have. Okay. Yes. That's pretty impressive. It is. It's a lot of fun and, and a lot of officers come out and cheer each other on. So it's, it's a little bit of a team building thing as well. Woo! Woo! Friendly competition, job, yes. I love fitness. I think that it's incredibly important in your daily life, especially as a police officer. Um, not only does it help you physically to be able to meet the demands of the job, but it also helps you mentally and emotionally as well. Um, it's a little bit of a stress reliever type of thing, so I feel very, very passionate about physical fitness. Good job! You said you weren't going to go all out. You went all out. I wasn't all out. That was good.